In this video, I will show you how to change NAT type to open on Xbox Series X or S. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, as you can see, we're here on my Xbox dashboard. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is come into your console settings. So if you come up to the top right hand corner and just go ahead and press A onto the gear icon to open up your settings. From here, you want to make sure you're on general on this menu on the left hand side. Then if you press right on your controller and press A onto network settings. Now, as you can see, my NAT type is currently set to open. So I've already done the steps for this, but I'm about to show you what to do. The first thing you're going to want to do from here is come over to the right and you want to press A on to test NAT type. What it's going to do is check your connection. If you are connected to any games or in a party or anything like that, it's going to disconnect you whilst it checks your connection. So after a minute or two, it's going to come up with a screen like this and it's going to say whether your NAT type is open, strict or moderate. Now, of course, if it's shown as strict or moderate, then there's a couple of things you're going to want to do to change your NAT type to open. To do this, from the network settings screen, you want to come down and press A onto advanced settings just down here. And what you want to do is a couple of things you're going to change in here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press A onto IP settings. Make sure this is set to automatic and do the same for DNS settings. So press A onto this and set this to automatic. And again, you want to do this for alternative port selection. You want to change this if it's set to manual to automatic. Once that's done, the final thing you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom to QoS tag in settings, press A onto this. And what you need to do is tick both these boxes. Now, once you've done that, make sure to restart your console. So you can see there's a restart now button here. So you want to go ahead and restart your console to apply these changes. What those two options basically do is prioritize your internet speed for your Xbox. So if there's other people in your household that use the internet to watch things like Netflix or YouTube, this is going to cause problems with your NAT type. And of course, you're not going to have as smooth an experience. So by turning on these two options, you're going to prioritize your network for your Xbox. And this will help fix and enable your NAT type to be open. So once that's done, what you can do is go ahead and log back into your account. So you just want to go ahead and log back in. And once you've logged back in, what you can do is come back onto your settings. And when you come back into general and go onto your network settings, your NAT type should now be shown as open. So you can see it says get in info. And after a minute or two of doing this, the NAT type should change to open. What you can do is again, test the NAT type and that should fix your problem and change the NAT type to open on your Xbox Series X or S. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.